Today I'm watching Angel season three, episode 10. In the previous episode, it was a crazy episode. We lost a character and also gained a character. Darla unalived herself in order to save their baby. And now Angel is a dad and has this baby boy. And it was a very intense scene. I was definitely getting teary eyed and emotional watching it as Darla realizes her options basically. And if you know anything about her character, she rarely does things, you know, to benefit others. So to see her sacrifice herself to save the baby was, I think, a huge moment for her character. And even though her character was the worst, I'm still going to miss her character because she just added an element to the show and obviously had a huge history with Angel. I'm hoping we still get to see her in some flashbacks. And I feel like in the past few times that we've seen her, you know, she's been struggling and, you know, trying to maybe find a purpose or something. I'm not too sure, but definitely wasn't expecting to ever see her pregnant and, you know, just hear her say she's never experienced happiness until she was pregnant and, you know, 400 years. And this is the first time she's loved something and, you know, doesn't want to lose that basically and knows once the baby is born, she's not going to have those feelings because she's not alive live. Very curious to see where Angel's going to be, if he's going to be playing dad full time, if they're going to do a time jump, what that's going to look like. The karaoke bar was also, you know, burned basically in the last one as Holtz sent this, you know, gas tank down and set the bar on fire with this grenade. And yeah, I don't know what Lauren's going to do about that. So yeah, it was a big episode. I'm very curious to see where we're going to go. Holtz is still around. You know, he said show no mercy and that to me that means he's still going to pursue going after Angel. It just means not right now. And he didn't know that Darla was pregnant. He wasn't expecting Angel to be a dad. And maybe that moment caught him a little off guard, but I'm glad Angel and the baby were able to make it out of there safely. But thank you so much for sharing in this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And if you want to have a say in what movies or TV shows I watch, be sure to join Patreon. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. And check back often for more awesome content. Right after we gut and remodel the entire hotel? Yeah, they're walking back into this chaos scene of torture and cages. There's blood over here. Not to mention some bastard's blown a gaping hole in the lift. Sorry, my bastard. <laughs> Angel's like, that was me. Yeah, sorry, I had to escape the torture. Accommodations. Oh, come on. Hand over the little nipper. Let Uncle Lauren take a gander, huh? <laughs> yeah, they're trying to, like, baby-proof the... Yeah, remove that sticker. During the rush to get out of the alley. Here, let me put some ointment on that. Hey, I, got, I got it. I got, I got it. Angel's like, no one's holding this baby except for me. I don't even want to know. You think you could throw it? I guess. Why? <laughs> there! Oh, God, no. Now is not the time. Get it? Ooh, good shot. Which means we need a plan. Uh huh. I think I figured it out. I think he means the cut, not the prophecy. Okay, but we're trying to figure out bigger things right now. Oh, God. Sorry, I needed the space. Of course. And seeing as how you once nearly had sex on my desk, I shouldn't be surprised that now there's a baby on it. Oh, my, that is the natural chain of events. Though now I'm picturing grown men wearing nappies, and I'm rather disturbed. Oh, okay, okay. You're ready, aren't you? Wesley's questioning his life choices, that's for sure. Call them to those who could pose a threat once they get wind of the baby. Order of Phileas. Beltar the cremator. That's a long list. It's a long list. Okay, um, are you hungry? Oh, I got a bottle all ready for you. Where did I put his bottle? His bottle all ready for me. Angel's trying his best to be dead. Yeah, he's just doing everything he can. Yeah, I, I can handle it. Uh, all right, so we got a list. All I have to do is erase everyone on it. I can do that for you. I don't think he means, yeah, it means like literally erase them. We don't need some deep, dark plan for Angel. You put a stake in them, you watch them go poof. It's a classic. Yeah, and you were supposed to kill Holtz, or you were supposed to kill Angel and the baby? Step one is poof, and then there are no more steps. And we can't get rid of the grapplers. I signed a two-week contract. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to piss these guys off. They're soulless beasts, bred only to maim and kill. Ah. Man. With Arby's? What are they eating? I like. You're gonna need these guys, unless your painful plan is to kill Angel with candy clowns and marshmallow pies. 
that would be a hilarious episode, but probably not effective. Yeah, because Holtz is human. He needs these What's demon. Oh. I need more than mere fighters. They're choking. Do you know the Heimlich? I can't do it. Demons choking. <laughs> what do you do? I poison their drink. Oh, Holtz. We and dead demons. What's step two? We can find information using this box. The computer, yes. Or the box, as he would know it. There could be more of them. The world is a sick and demented place. You know that there are already three websites offering money for the baby. That's so dark. Oh my god. Uh, that can't be a good sign. Those furies give me whiplash. Thank god they finally left. My head was about to pop off. <laughs> Which, granted, not that big a deal. The flash. <laughs> Oh, Pilea reference. We're all safe, right, Lauren? I, I mean, unless one of those killers decides to throw a firebomb in at us like they did at your club. Which Too soon. Too soon. And a PKU test after he's born. Ooh, are you going to circumcise? These are important decisions he has to make right now. I think he heard you. That's <laughs> his mother. No one is going to put their hands on this child. No one. And he means that including them at the moment as well. Yeah. Put their hands and of course, them. Wolfram and Hart are still washing. Like According to our sources, she staked herself, leaving the baby alive and kicking, but never actually born. I'm guessing Holtz is their source. That's a cute little baby. Yes, you are. And your daddy is a vampire with a soul. There's no way Wolfram and Hart can get that baby. No way. I like kids. The senior partners took mine before I really got to know them. Oh, God, that's horrible. Teddy isn't crying. <laughs> Do you see Teddy? Oh, Angel is a dad. Aww. Mistakes. I know I made a few. <laughs> this kid's not having it. He's like, I don't care. I just want to cry. <laughs> He's trying his best. Oh. Like no, okay. How about, how about this, this one? <laughs> okay. I only got one more. Not the vampire face. He can't mean vampire face. That can't be what does it. Oh no. Vampire face. That's what soothes the little guy. Oh. It's my little guy. <laughs> you like that, don't you? I don't watch it. I never thought I'd hear Angel using his baby voice or making silly faces. Sure thing, Miss Morgan. Just a sec. Well, that's a giant binder. Yeah, why was he looking up obituaries? I'll tell you what I want. I want you to stay the hell away from me. Yeah, he said he wanted missionaries, so if he can find people who have, um, like, a cause and a reason to kill vampires, he doesn't want these mindless goons. Where are we going? Cordelia. We're going outside. What's the kid gonna do? He has to go outside. Yeah, exactly. He can't stay in the darkness. Get to the hospital at noon. On the sunniest day of the year. He'll get there. Oh, man. Angel. She's trying to prove, yeah, that, you know, there has to be other people involved. It can't just be him, like... Put it close. Lilia Demons. Their fun is making a magical broth from the bones of human children, that's too else. Good god, that's horrendous. Child born of a vampire affects the recipe. Yikes, what? They can never leave the hotel. Full moon. Don't matter what kind of weapons we have. We're not going to be able to fight off the whole world once that force field comes down. I don't see that we have a choice. Poor Angel. He just wants to spend time with his kid and everybody's coming after him. What kind of wussy name is Liam anyway? 
Angel's real name. This conquest is page 412. <laughs> How did you- I'm files and records. It's my job. She's like, I should just ask you an hour ago. I find that you know everything that's in this case file. No, Miss Morgan. Oh. I know everything in every case file. <laughs> She's a robot. Yeah. Oh my god. Lila's like, I wasted so much time. Why the big hate on for Angel? Just a moment. 1764. Angel and What was that? Like a human Rolodex with her eyes? Four. Pursues Angel and Darla relentlessly for nine years, racking up an incidental body count of 378 vampires in the meantime. Good gravy. This is a single-minded vengeance machine with a bloodlust to match. It would appear so, yeah. And that they killed Holt's baby boy. What are we talking about? Some kind of karate kid, Mr. Miyagi Groove thing? Wax on, wax on. Not even a little bit, no. It's just a modern popular culture tend to be lost on me. <laughs> yeah, he's like, I'm a few hundred years behind the times. It's just a who's who of everybody that's coming to collect this poor baby, basically. Oh my god. All right, sun's down, vamps can come out too. Wait, they're headed toward the bikers. What are they doing? Oh, okay, they got their own uh, issues, clearly. They're uh, having a brawl over who gets to kill us first. Jesus. Well, they can kill each other and then there'll be, you know, one less thing they have to worry about. So you're just gonna leave, run away? Why not? It's what he's good at. You sure you don't want to fire us first? A little icing on the cake while you leave us here? Wow, 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 wow. Deep cuts. Angel, don't leave us. Yeah, now they have to fend off. Like, all these things are still going to come in because they don't know that Angel and the baby is gone, obviously. And Angel can't be watching the baby 24 hours a day. Like, oh my gosh. No, I'm afraid you'll kill him before we have a chance to cut him open while he's still breathing and find out how the hell he's alive in the first place. Lila is a dark individual. Got the flamethrower, got the crossbow. Oh my god, good luck everybody. It's John Wayne in Rio Bravo. I haven't seen it. Austin Stoker, assault on precinct 13. Also haven't seen it. If we live through this, trade in the DVD players and get a life. <laughs> oh god, they look so gooey. Yeah, 312, why don't you go up and get him? Oh wait. I have a better idea. Love a good flamethrower. Yeah, get him, Wesley! Oh my god. Not enough flamethrowers in modern TV, in my opinion. You know, you just, you never know when you're gonna need them. He's like, wait a minute. Master, it's a trick. He's taking the child. Crispy. Ooh. <laughs> oh, yeah. You had to come in and tell him about it. Hopefully we stalled them long enough. Whatever. Running away was his call. Gun's not mad about that at all. Like, Angel, what are you gonna do? You're so outnumbered. You're driving off into the middle of the desert and... Oh my gosh. Posse, that's the easy part. Holding this baby. Oh my gosh. All the questions. Oh, why is the sky blue? Why do people get sick? Why is there always pig's blood in the fridge? <laughs> oh, that's gonna be uncomfortable. That last one. Oh good, and an abandoned mine. A perfect place to raise a child. Angel may be a vampire, but this child is not, as far as we know, so you better be careful with that thing. Oh my god. Give us the baby. You want the baby? You can have the baby! Um, tell me that's not real. Come on. There's no way. Oh, it's Teddy! Oh my god, I was like, Angel, come on, this is beyond reckless. Oh, Teddy. With a bomb. Goodbye! Quite the decoy, but how did- Oh, that's playing it still very close, man. That thing could have gone off. The only truly safe room is 
janitor's closet. Thanks for the tip. And tells him where to read it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. That green house guest could hear the hum of your transmit frequency. Yeah, that's how he knew. Just a performance. He did a good job. Who knew Angel had the acting chops? Are you kidding? It was one note. Felt forced. <laughs> yeah, Finn. Angel killed his family and he spent the rest of his life seeking revenge. Oh, and one more thing. This all happened 200 years ago. Yep, so explain that one. What do you suppose it is that he wants? You mean other than to tear out Angel's heart and wearing it as a brooch? Well, it's fashion accessories these days. Only a matter of time before our needs and his come into conflict. Maybe sooner than we think. Oh, cue Angel. Yeah. Ooh. And then some. So not only are you not coming after him, you're going to make sure he lives a long, healthy life. How's that going to work? You just became his godfather. What? No, come on. I believe I do. It's all right. Now he's like holding him hostage to protect his kid. College fun? Start saving. <laughs> Set on Notre Dame. Okay, okay. Heard it's a great school. Never been. Have his. What's his name? Connor. Connor? Is that like an Irish something? He was singing him an Irish lullaby earlier. Angel. And congratulations. <laughs> Little baby Connor. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Angel. Your first name's Geraldo. <laughs> Geraldo Angel. You're a pet psychiatrist with a small practice in Pacoima, and you fight crime. I like this backstory. <laughs> Connor. That's a lovely name. I don't suppose you ever considered Wes? No. <laughs> it's like I had to take my chances. Let's go home. Nice stroll. Thank you. Never thought I would see Angel leaving the hospital with a baby boy. Yeah. It's going to be interesting, that's for sure. Papa Angel. So that was my first time watching Angel season three, episode 10. We picked up right where we left off from episode nine with, you know, Angel and the gang coming into the hotel with the baby. We saw Angel in, you know, full dad mode in this episode as he's, you know, trying his best in this new role. Like this isn't something he, you know, had nine months to prepare for. He only found out recently and even they weren't sure if the baby was going to make it. And, you know, here he is. They named him in this episode. His name is Connor. And I'm very curious to see what this new path is going to be like for Angel. I never thought I'd hear Angel singing, you know, in baby voices and, you know, doing all those little things you do to babies to try and get them to, you know, stop crying. He's singing to him. He's offering him a bottle. He's got his teddy bear. You know, he's just thrown himself completely into this new role as dad and is trying to give Connor, you know, the best life that he can, basically. And he's being very protective and, you know, is trying to make sure that that nothing bad happens to Connor as we saw everything under the sun basically is trying to come after him and it did remind me a little bit of Glory and Dawn from Buffy where everything is suddenly coming after Dawn now we have you know these demons these vampires the biker gang everything is trying to get Connor and all for horrible reasons Wolfram and Hart want the baby. They said the baby was never even supposed to be born because Holtz was supposed to unalive Angel and the baby and it wasn't even supposed to be a thing. But Holtz, you know, kind of changed the trajectory of that whole prophecy because he didn't know that, you know, Darla was pregnant and he didn't know that Angel was going to be a dad. And Holtz is now going around kind of building this vampire slayer army like he's trying to recruit people he poisons the crew that that other demon had got him and he's like no I want people who have like a purpose and a reason to kill and Holtz is thinking this through man he's like I didn't you know spend 227 years for nothing like I really want this revenge to have meaning behind it and he seems to do everything with intention he's not a goon going out there and just chopping off heads it sounds like that's what he did for the nine or eight years whatever it was between when he last saw Angel until he met this demon who time traveled him so 
Holtz had killed like 300 and some vampires in the span of trying to find Angel, like obviously had a lot of time to practice this and is now still going after Angel. Wolfram and Hart are also trying to get this baby and they're worried that Holtz is going to get in the way of their plans. They know who he is now. You know, we had Lila in that scene trying to go through the files and that file collector person or the file recorder and just the way her eyes flickered back and forth reminded me of like those Rolodexes you would have on your desk with all the, you know, contact information. Super creepy, super well done though. And it was interesting to see these demons in robes back, you know, the biker gangs back and just, you know, everybody who could possibly, you know, that Angel had come in contact with. They made, you know, the list of enemies basically known and unknown or known and potentials, which was terrifying. And it definitely was an interesting trick to find out that Angel found out about the cameras. And I was wondering because when Lauren put that thing in his pocket, Angel said, thanks for the tip. And I was like, okay, what tip did he give you? Because the show is so well written and everything is very intentional and they're always you know leaving breadcrumbs so I was like it didn't sound like just an off-the-cuff comment I was like okay I feel like there's something more there but I didn't know what it was obviously and they definitely know Wolfram and Hart are watching them now Lauren's moved in obviously because his you know karaoke bar has been destroyed twice mostly because of you know Angel and Gun and everybody you know that hangs out at the hotel so Lauren's like I'll just move in with you guys and luckily he's able to figure out that they're being watched because he can hear you know the sounds so I'm glad Wolfram and Hart have lost their advantage it was definitely unfair you know they had full access to Angel except for this janitor closet and when Angel threw the baby I was like okay wait a minute like something is obviously not right here and you know, we find out what happens as he blows up the mime, but it was so convincing the fact that he was going to go out on his own being very protective. And I was like, okay, these are things that he would do. And obviously, you know, the audience is led to believe what Wolfram and Hart are led to believe because that's what they see. But such a good way to end it to find out that obviously, you know, Connor is safe. He's at the hospital and I'm glad they're, you know, doing those things because there could have been a chance he could have been a vampire. I mean, I don't know how you would tell that in babies, but obviously he's human and, you know, he's doing okay. He got his shots and everything. And it's nice to see Angel, you know, involve everybody because I do think it's going to take, you know, support and help to bring Connor, you know, into this world basically. And Angel doesn't have a ton of experience raising babies. Gunn was the only one who said, you know, he helped raise his cousin from when she was like a week old. And Cordelia's trying to be involved. You know, she's reading the baby book and is offering suggestions. And it's like, hey, we need to do these things for this baby. And we know Connor is part of this prophecy. Angel's part of the prophecy. So, yeah, I'm very curious to see where that's going to go. If Connor will be on the side of good or bad for this prophecy because... The prophecy states, you know, that the world's going to end, basically. So, yeah, it's very interesting. I never would have thought in a million years we would have had a son, an angel's son, as a character in the show. So I'm very curious to see where that's going to go. We knew there was a baby when Darla and Angel went to attack Holt's family. It turns out it was a baby boy. And obviously Angel has a baby boy now. So, yeah, there's lots of similarities there. And maybe that's why Holt's hesitated a little bit but yeah he's definitely not leaving like he's still around he's still going to be a threat to Angel and Angel saying you know like we're safe for now I think that's only a matter of time because yeah Holtz is just collecting an army basically is going around I'm sure he'll grab you know more people because he wants people to fight with him and he definitely can't take down Angel by himself because of the human versus the vampire and you know the demons did most of the work last time to put him in that device basically and it was interesting to see, you know, Vampire Face be the only thing that calms Connor down. And he obviously has a connection to him, like they said, and, you know, somehow recognize the Vampire Face. And it was great to see everybody, you know, play along with the setup for Wolfram and Hart and Gun, you know, being like, well, why don't you just let us go again? Like, you left us before. Why don't you do it again? And again, those are things that Gun would say, you know, some he gets angry about these things and that really hurt him. And... You know, nothing felt out of place, which I think is just shows how well, you know, done it was. And to see Wesley with that flamethrower and they're like, well, we're just left here to fight off all these things, basically. And he's just taking off. And, you know, Wolfram and Hart think they have the one up on everybody when they're actually being played. And to see Angel come in and name the guy from Wolfram and Hart his son's godfather like what? And, you know, threaten say like, hey, if anything happens to my kid, I'm going to do the exact same thing to you, but much worse. 
maybe that'll work. You know, maybe this guy will actually back off and just go after Angel. I have no idea. Or maybe they'll just kidnap the baby. Yeah, please no spoilers, but there's no way Wolfram and Hart are just going to leave them alone. They'll find a loophole. They'll find some way to go after them because that's what they want. And Wolfram and Hart don't take well to being threatened either. We see Lila and Gavin, you know, bickering back and forth like they do and their boss calling them children because they're trying to just one up each other, kind of like we saw with, you know, Lila and Lindsay. The makeup and, you know, prosthetics and everything of those demons in the robes and their faces just looked like wet and gooey and just so creepy, so well done. And, you know, this big showdown in the hotel as everybody's got their weapons and, you know, they're ready to stand off. And yeah, I love flamethrowers, so I was very excited to see Wesley have one and, you know, takes out everybody as soon as they walk in the door, basically. They didn't really mention Darla that much. Uh, Angel said, you know, like I promised his mother basically that I wouldn't let anything happen to him. I do feel like Angel's going to be obviously very protective of his son, probably more than normal because there's lots and lots of horrible things coming after his kid and he's, you know, a new parent and this is his first kid and, you know, all of those things that come with parenthood. So yeah, I'm very curious to see what this new role will be and what, you know, threats are going to come their way next. I feel like Angel's going to make a great dad. He's trying his best, you know. I'm glad to see that he's letting other people step in because, yes, he's a vampire, but he still needs to sleep eventually and take care of himself, and he can't do that. And, you know, Cordelia goes out into the sun and is like, okay, your kid has to go to the doctor in the middle of the day. Like, what are you going to do? And, you know, Angel intentionally hurts himself, saying, like, well, I'll do it no matter what. And he would, implying he would, you know, maybe sacrifice himself in order to save his kid like Darla did and... That's not the answer Cordelia wanted, obviously. She was trying to show that they're there to support and Angel can't do this, you know, thing by himself. Like for the entire episode, that baby was in his arms. And yes, it was the teddy, you know, later on. But the entire episode, he's walking around with this baby in his arm and is not letting this kid out of his sight. And Lauren telling him like, hey, you know, like this isn't just a mission. Like really look at your kid, like look at your son and realize, you know, you have a kid now. And I think that kind of shifted Angel's perspective a little bit. And he kind of, you know, fell in love with his son and, you know, starts watching him, not like, okay, I need to be protective watching him, just kind of like watching him like he's amazed by him. And it's such a precious, you know, moment and a moment he never thought would happen. Overall, I thought it was a good episode. I'm curious to see where we're going to go now that Connor is, you know, around and he's here and to see what the plan is. You know, they're trying to baby proof the hotel. I don't know how that's going to work. Obviously, there's tons of space for Connor there, but yeah, baby is definitely going to be a new addition to the mix and they go out and do very dangerous things. So how's that going to work? Is someone going to always have to, you know, stay behind to watch after Connor? You know, who's that going to be? So yeah, I'm very curious to see where this, you know, angel baby storyline prophecy situation is going to go. But thank you so much for sharing on this first time watching with me. If you have any other suggestions for TV shows you think I should watch, please comment below. And as always, please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel, and check back often for more awesome content. Yeah, they're walking back into this chaos scene of torture and cages. Vampire face. That's what soothes the little guy. What was that, like a human Rolodex with her eyes? Got the flamethrower, got the crossbow. Oh my god, good luck everybody. God, they look so gooey. Oh good, and an abandoned mind. A perfect place to raise a child.